everyone's an elite athlete at this level. Um, so it takes time to acclimatize to that. Um, but like I said, I think he's done a really good job so far. You know, losing Teron, it's not just losing the player, it's losing the leader in the locker and the communication, you know. Is there pressure on you as one of the veterans to, to fill that, or how do, you, how do you go about doing that? Yeah, you know, I think I've always viewed myself as, um, you know, kind of lead by example, but at the same time, I think I do have to take a step up and, and be kind of more of a, a vocal leader. Um, yeah. Ryan, I, I assume you're healthy now, but can you give us, a, I guess, a rundown of what you dealt with last year? Um, you know, there was just some complications in my knee that um, I was trying to resolve last year. Um, and, and I think I've done a really good job this year of strengthening, you know, just the, the muscles around my knee, and it's feeling a lot better now. So, um, you know, feeling pretty confident going into this year. Sorry if you want to answer this, but what are your thoughts about Trevor Penny? He'll be able to help him in both Yeah, I think so far he's done a really good job. Um, you know, like I said, he's got all the physical attributes to be a really good player in this league. Um, he's done really good picking up the playbook so far. Not a lot of mental errors on film. Um, and so I think, you know, he's done a really good job so far. So the adjustments, you don't have you don't have Sean here. You got Pete still calling plays. And you also have the new, you know, offensive line coach with Doug Marone. How's that adjustment been of just seeing just new faces, new places, or just hearing different voices? I mean, yeah, obviously it's different. A um, little bit different dynamic, but... Um, you know, I think Doug is a really good coach from what I've seen so far. You know, there's a ton of things that um, I've picked up on and, and little key coaching points here and there that I think are really beneficial, you know, not only for vets, but super beneficial for younger guys as well. So um, overall, it's been good. Ryan, does it feel odd, I guess, looking in that room and not seeing a guy like Teron and yet you guys have been through so many changes on the offensive line throughout a year as it goes anyway? Yeah, you know, the game of football is, is constantly changing. Everything's moving, moving parts all the time. Um, you know, Teron's presence is missed, of course. Uh, he was a great, great athlete, great teammate, great all-around person. Um, but, you know, we're going to be just fine. Des has been preaching, you know, the patience, you won't get everything you need all together at once. But what do you think about when Trevor picks up the playbook, Jameis is back, and Steve McCoy's in fourth as well, what this offense can do? Yeah, I think, you know, I think we can be one of the best offenses in this league. Um, you know, we got firepower, we got really good players. Um, so I'm really excited about this season. I think, um, you know, we can, we can do anything we want this year.